Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a try on haul to share with y'all from Loft and J. Crew. I have a couple other things from other retailers that I also wanted to sprinkle in as well. I found some really pretty festive pieces for the upcoming holiday season, but also some really great staples as well. I also pulled out some of my favorite pieces that I know will be on sale for Thanksgiving and Black Friday and all that fun stuff if you're looking for really good staples that I would recommend. So a good mix in today's video. I'll have everything linked for you down in the description box as well as pinned to a top comment so you can easily shop this video and let's get started. All right, starting off with one of my favorite pieces, this pearl sweater I could not resist. I actually bought this in two colors just because I couldn't decide which one I wanted to end up keeping. I think I may go with this one just because it's a color I don't have in my wardrobe as much as cream and you can also see the pearls a little bit more. I will show you the other one. I'll probably style that one for holiday. But what I love about this sweater is it can definitely incorporate into your holiday wardrobe and be festive. You can easily style this for like an office party or even work. But it's also very wearable after the holidays too. I'm wearing a size small. It is more of a fitted sweater. So if you want it to be more oversized, I would recommend a size up. I paired it with this neutral faux leather pleated skirt. I think this is back from last year. I'm wearing a medium and it's a little bit loose, but honestly, it's, I don't know, it sits pretty nicely and I wanted to size up for a little more length because it does run a little bit shorter. And then these knee high boots, unfortunately are from last year, but I'll link some similar options down below. Okay, here's a look at the cream version, which I think is also beautiful in its own way as well. Here I styled it for a neutral holiday look. I paired it with this white slip skirt, which pardon the little crease, I just grabbed it off of the hanger. And then I paired it with a feathery, fun little heel. I think you can have fun going with a statement shoe or you can keep it more classy if you want. I'll link some different holiday heel options down below. You could also do a boot, like I think a white knee-high boot would also be really pretty if you wanted to be like a chic winter white look or even a white coat over top. So I don't know, which one should I keep? The cream or the tan? All right, here's the pearl sweater styled with this holiday skirt. Loft has a lot of festive pieces. And with this, you can style it so many different ways. You could even do black turtleneck, black tights if you want. You could pair it with a red sweater. I think adding in like a black hair bow would be really cute. Loft actually has one. I have it, but it has pearls on it, and I feel like that's a little overkill for this look, so I would just do like a black velvet or a black satin ribbon. In the skirt, it's true to size. I got a four petite just so it would be a little bit shorter, and I really like the length of it. It's a thicker tweed material. It is lined underneath, and then I paired it with these black knee-high boots, which I fully expect these to go on sale. I think they usually do 25, maybe 20% 20 off. Um, I know they're a splurge, but I just wanted to give y'all a heads up because I wear these all the time and always get asked about them. I have them in two colors and they're a little pricier, but if you can get them on sale, I definitely recommend because they're just such good quality and they're more of an investment piece for your wardrobe. Keep your eye on that. I will be sharing a ton of sale alerts in the Like to Know It app, so give me a follow in there if you're not already. That's where I share sale alerts, restocks. I'll have a ton of collages for Black Friday and all of that, so I'll have that linked for you down below. I also got this fur vest and I had to throw it on with this outfit because this is 100% giving millennial. Like I absolutely would have worn this in 2014 for Christmas, but I did want to get the fur vest because I really like adding fur or different textures like velvet to monochromatic looks in the winter time because it gives it such good interest and in texture. So. I would style this fur vest with like a cream or a chocolate, even black monochromatic outfit. It is very soft too. I would honestly pet it all night. It has pockets. I'm wearing a size small. All right, next up is this bow top. It's velvet and this reminded me a ton of a designer. I think it's Saloni. I'm not sure if that's correct, but there's a designer that makes bow dresses and they are very very expensive, um, probably like around $800. This gave me that look and feel for so much less. I'm wearing a size small. Um, it's comfortable. 
The sleeves are a little more voluminous, but I like how it comes in at the wrist. And then I switched out my earrings for these Kendra Scott, like red, almost like a garnet jewel earring. I am loving all of their pieces for holiday. If you haven't checked it out, I, there are so many good ones to choose from. I'll link some of my favorites down below. But I like how that kind of ties in the red from the skirt. And of course, if you wanted to dress this up, you could do tights and a heel. Instead, this would be such a good look for a holiday office party. Next is this buttoned cardigan sweater. And this bow specifically reminds me a ton of a sweater that Love Shack Fancy did last year. So I would say it's definitely a very good look for less. And I love the sparkle to it. This is, again, another piece that can work for holiday, but doesn't scream holiday, so you can still continue to wear it after December. It is on the thicker side, definitely very warm. I'm wearing a size small. I styled it down with some jeans, and then these booties are back. I saw them recently on sale at Nordstrom Rack, so I'll link them. I've had mine since 2020, and they're really comfortable. I actually have two colors in them. Um, and then these jeans are newer to me. I finally found some jeans that I liked and then I ended up losing a little bit of weight so I had to start the process all over again. So I ordered this pair and I do think they have a pretty good fit. I'm wearing a size 27. Um, they do run shorter so I'm trying to figure out what other shoe options they would work with or if I want something a little bit longer. They definitely work with taller booties. All right next up is one of my favorite purchases from the season so far. I was honestly blown away by this sweater and my expectations were far exceeded. I honestly was hoping that I would end up returning this because it was a splurge sweater. It's cashmere and it was excluded from their current promotion, which is typical <laughs> with the cashmere pieces, but I gave it a try and I'm so glad I did because I am so in love with it. The color is the prettiest creamiest color. It has like the faintest touch of pink. would not call it pink, but it is just like my favorite color. And the knit is beautiful. A lot of times knit sweaters can just feel really thick and bulky and heavy. Whereas this one just feels ultra soft and cozy. I'm wearing a size small. I tucked it into my bra here and styled it with this neutral sequin skirt. This also comes in black and coral. The online reviews said that it ran slightly small, but honestly, it's big on me. So I needed to order the size down. What is... Yeah, I ordered a four. I was just making sure I didn't order a six. Ordered a four and it's still big. So I ordered the two. It is currently on sale, I believe. I know it was right around $60 with the current promotion, which I think is a really good price point. And then for my shoes, I paired it with these blush pink Manolos. I will link a look for less down below. Um, they're very comfortable, but I haven't got the best cost per wear out of them thus far. I ordered them around this time last year. I know I think I ordered them last December, and I've only worn them two or three times. So I never honestly get the best cost per wear out of designer heels just because I don't wear heels regularly, but... I feel like when I do, they just make the outfit. So I do love them, but yeah, cost per wear hasn't been that great. But just to go back to the sweater, if you are looking for a really nice investments cashmere sweater, I would absolutely recommend this. I'm just so, so happy with it. All right, here's the sweater styled with those jeans from earlier. Then I switched it out for these fun feathery heels again. If you're wanting a little more of a casual, but still festive look with them, I'm just so excited about the sweater, honestly. It's just so soft. And I do think these jeans are growing on me as well. I'm just so picky when it comes to jeans. They can be just so hard to decide on. But they hit right at my belly button, maybe like slightly above it. And they just have a really good fit through the leg. All right, I wanted to throw this dress in here as well. It is currently 30% off. And it is just so fun and beautiful. This is a tulle dress and it has this little gold sparkle throughout and it is just truly so beautiful. It's like a princess dress and you best believe I'm going to wear this whenever the occasion calls for it. So I think I'm going to pack this to New York. I'll layer a turtleneck and tights with it, but 
It would be so fun for like tea at the plaza, holiday styling, holiday outfit or holiday family photos, my birthday. It would even work for a baby shower. Honestly, so many fun festive things. I do want to mention it, on the tag, it says that the sparkle can fall out a little bit. So I just wanted to give you all a heads up on that, but just like Kate Spade said, you can just leave a little sparkle wherever you go. I am wearing a size small in the dress. I even have a regular bra on with it. I just love these straps. They feel so comfortable and I don't typically love sleeveless, but I feel really confident and feminine in these dresses. I own multiple prints and colors, but this one just is truly like no other dress. It honestly reminds me a little bit of Mila is the brand. She makes a lot of tool fun dresses, but a lot of them have corset backs, which isn't really my style. So this gives me that look that I've always wanted from that designer. Okay. I also wanted to mention these velour pants are back from last year. I wouldn't be surprised if they sell out very quickly because last year they went so fast and typically with launches like this, Spanx doesn't carry a ton of inventory. So just a heads up there. Um, but these have a slit in the front and they are such a fun pant for the holiday, but you could easily dress these up or down. They come with a matching top, but here I dressed them up. So I styled it with a holiday heel and then this feather top from J crew last year's version was a regular like button down. Whereas this version is, I wouldn't say it's cropped, but it's definitely shorter. It's hip length has this thicker panel at the bottom. You can still tuck it in, especially if you're short torso, <laughs> you have a short torso like I do. Um, but the feather is really fun for the holidays. I would just be mindful of stains. Like I wouldn't throw this one in the wash. I would just spot clean it and probably dry clean it as well. It's not see-through, but definitely keep it neutral underneath. And with this, you could also layer it under sweaters and things like that if you want the feathers to sort of pop out. Here's the top styled with jeans. I just tucked the side in so you could see like the length of it, but you could definitely still tuck it in if you want to like that. And then it just looks like classic, but has that little holiday twist with the feathers. All right. It is the next day. I had to stop filming because the sun literally sets at 4 PM now <laughs> and the lighting was getting crazy. So that's why my hair is straight. Cause I washed my hair this morning. Um, but the next thing I was actually really excited restocked. I got this around this time last year and it sold out so quickly. And I got a lot of y'all asking about it cause you loved the little ruffle detail, but they brought this back. So it is back in stock as I'm filming this, it's currently 50% off. So hopefully you can snag it in stock and on sale. I am wearing a medium. Um, I sized up just so it wasn't skin tight but I got this last year and I have lost a little bit of weight since then. So I would say it is pretty true to size. I brought back out that plaid holiday skirt and I just wanted to share this before I start layering and kind of styling it. I of course have to mention some of the J crew coats. This is a excellent time to get a really good quality coat on sale. They use a stadium wool and it's a very warm coat. I have done so many comparisons comparing this one to the outlet I would say overall, it's just more of the quality materials. So if you live somewhere, I would say in the South where you don't have to worry about being as warm, you can go the outlet option. But if you do really need that warmth, it's important to look at the percentage of the materials used. And that's why there's a price point difference. I own both. So that's my thoughts on them. Um, this one does run small in the shoulder. So if you want to wear thicker sweaters underneath. I would definitely recommend a size up. I am wearing a four here. Mine is older. So the fur mine's like unbuttoned right here, but the fur on the one available this year and last year is a white just FYI, but you can snap it off if you don't love that comes in. I think four color options is such a good quality. Honestly still looks brand new and I've had mine since 2020. The other coat I wanted to review is the lady coat. And this one honestly hasn't been my personal favorite. I think it looks really nice if you wear it buttoned up just cause it gives you that beautiful shape, but I don't love how it looks open just cause it does add a lot of volume to my hip area. 
But if you're looking for a nice dress coat, a coat to wear to work that looks really put together, if you have a dressier you know, dress coat, this is a really beautiful coat. I have a white coat from Ralph Lauren that I prefer over this one. Personally, hopefully that one will go on sale. I'll link that one down below. I would say this one also runs small. I'm wearing a six in this one and it fits kind of similar to how the four fits in the last coat. So if you're in between, I would recommend a size up. This one is not as bulky and heavy of a material, but it just has that beautiful tailoring. So definitely more of a feminine coat, hence it's called the lady coat. Just has really nice tailoring through the shoulders and even the back and there's no belt involved. So it just gives you a really clean, elegant look. So the sequin dress is not working for me. It's just too big in the waist, but if I size down, I feel like it'd be too tight in the hip area. And it's just kind of I'm just not doing anything. It's just not fitting me great. If it was, you know, coming in at the waist here, like it should, it'd be really pretty. And chocolate is such a big trend for this fall and winter season. So this is like a chocolate sequin holiday dress, but the fit is just not great on me. So this one's going back. So I'm sorry to be ending on a bad note with a return, but I hope y'all enjoyed today's Loft and J Crew haul. Stay tuned because I do have a lot of videos coming your way in the next week to help you guys shop for Black Friday. And of course, I'll be doing my annual Black Friday like roundup video as well, sharing sort of my favorite things on sale. So stay tuned for a lot more coming your way in the next week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.